Hey guys, it's Justine, and guess what? We've got ourselves a Pixel 3 here. I'm really excited about this phone because I've been such a huge fan of previous Pixel phones. So when they finally had their announcement, even though most of the things about this phone were already leaked, I will soon have an unboxing and a full review, but this is kind of just like a first look and sort of impressions. The event was really cool. Unfortunately, I was not able to make it. I was so upset because I really, really wanted to go, but I was shooting something very fun, which I can't wait to share with you guys what I've been working on. It's a little something. This is the 64 gigabyte version. They also have a 128, it comes in three different colors. It has four gigs of RAM. I think a lot of people were expecting this phone to be a lot more than what it is, mostly because the rumors, everyone thought that, okay, those were just rumors, those were speculations. Obviously that is probably true. Is there gonna be some sort of a secret phone that we don't know about? But it turns out most of the leaks were true and real. But for the most part, I, so far, I'm really liking this phone. I have mentioned before one of the the things that I do like about the pixels. This little accent color that they put on the power buttons is so cute and so thoughtful. And it's interesting because they're always such random color choices, it feels like. It's something that you would not normally put with this color of a phone. But the mint green on here, mm, I think it looks beautiful. So far, it feels pretty fast. One of the things that I was hoping that it would have, though, is facial recognition, because I do love just being able to look at my phone, pick it up, and it's just magically on. But this phone does not have that. It does have fast charge. It does have the fingerprint sensor in the back, which is thankfully very nicely placed in a great location that is easy to access. It's weird because it's been a while since I've used the fingerprint access, because on the Note 9, I was just so used to the facial recognition. And on the iPhone, I use face ID, so it's weird to even do that again because it's, it's been a while, but it's it's pretty intuitive. I mean, you just, that's it, it's on. I also like that because I like to also add my sister's fingerprint to my phones and usually on Face ID, like you can't do that. You can only have one face. It will be interesting when they do allow multiple faces. It's like at this point in my life, I'm like, my sister needs to know everything that I'm doing at all time to make sure that I'm functioning properly. I, it's, I can't stress enough that if I don't know what I would do without her, like she is a lifesaver. She like basically films all of my videos, runs all kinds of tasks and errands for me. So I need to do like a Jenna appreciation day again we need to have like a Jenna appreciation month because she has done so much for me this year. Like I can't even tell you. So maybe as an appreciation, go subscribe to her channel, youtube.com slash it's me, Jenna E. Say hi to her on Twitter at Jenna E. Zarek, Instagram, Jenna E. Zarek. Go tell her hi and tell her that she's the best because honestly, she really, really is. Anyway, I'm going to go out and take a few photos with this and I will give you guys some photo examples and then look for the full review very, very shortly. But so far, I think it's great. It's super fast, really speedy. So we'll see if that holds up in the long term as I start installing all kinds of apps and things like that. <laughs> it's so wide angle. Oh my gosh, it's wild. Let's go take some pictures and I will see you guys very soon for the full review and impressions. So I didn't end up taking as many photos as I'd planned on tonight to do this quick little review for you, but I posted this picture on Twitter saying shot on Pixel 3 and I was excited because I thought it looked good. Appreciate the compliment, but they said that if you take a picture of me with a toaster that it would still look amazing. So I appreciate it, thank you. If there is a toaster that takes photos, please let me know because I would definitely love to check it out. Then we have people like this saying, Apple sheep, I think you now have competition. Even the previous Pixel 2 is still, I was like, I'm posting a picture saying that the Pixel is great. We go down here and Leon is telling me that's not a Pixel 3. Brandon is saying it lacks the sharpness of literally every Pixel 3 shot so far. He's telling my face is washed. This is the the 10s. I like I shot this on the freaking Pixel phone. I shot it on the the, the Pixel. I'm not even making this up. Like you guys are I can't even Oh my gosh. Oh, and then someone making fun of me because I have a wrinkle in my cheek. Oh. You guys can't see me, but I'm like flailing around kicking. Sometimes the internet is still so shocking to me, even though I've been doing this for so, so long. And that was my not Pixel phone. I said I took that picture with the Pixel 3. This is the Pixel 3. Here's the picture. Portrait. Just see, like, this is, I'm not lying. Jonathan, you have ruined it for everyone. <laughs> I'm not trolling. This is, this is it. I also posted this on Instagram, so we can read through some of these comments. 
Did you not like any of the pictures I took? Oh, Janet took a bunch of them for me, but this was taken. It was a portrait front facing selfie. And yes, I'm screen recording this on my iPhone, but I don't, I'm not sure. Don't judge me. Someone said a potato, mini, hi mini lad. <laughs> Whoa, not an Apple product. What have you done with I Justine? How is my hair flawless? I don't know. The side of your hair looks cut out. So it's definitely not an iPhone. I feel like most of the portrait mode photos, whether it's on an iPhone or it's on the Pixel or it's on the Note, they're never gonna be perfect because it's using AI. It's not using actual glass. And these are two other photos that Jenna took outside today. And I'm pretty surprised, like you can see around the hairline, it did a really good job. I'm looking forward to testing this out a little bit more, but again, I think the photos are, they're looking pretty good. It will be interesting to see this up against the iPhone XS, against the Note 9. So I guess in the meantime, let's get rowdy in the comments. I would love to hear more about what you guys think. What do you think of these first look photos? What do you think of iOS versus Android? Do I even want to know? Oh my gosh. I'm not sure if I'm ready. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.